Hey guys, what is up? Max Max Watcher, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over my 2023 AFL Finals predictions. So anyways guys, let's get straight into it. So starting off with the first qualifying final, Collingwood versus Melbourne. I feel like Collingwood um, haven't been playing too well recently. They will be getting Darcy Moore back, but John Noble is now out as well. But I reckon Melbourne, they've been playing pretty good recently. Collingwood have been playing pretty bad. And I feel like Melbourne will just get the edge over Collingwood. Beating them 13-684 to Collingwood 11-975. Moving on to the elimination final, Carlton versus Sydney. I feel like it will be a pretty close game until about the second half, where Sydney's second half recently have been really bad, and I feel like that will continue. And Carlton will end up pulling away, winning 17 goals 14, 116 to Sydney 7 goals 8 50. Now moving on to the second elimination final. St Kilda versus GWS. Now GWS have been playing some really good football lately, um, especially that last game with a win against Carlton to get themselves into the finals. But other than that, I feel like St Kilda all year have played some pretty good footy. Maybe in the middle of the year they dropped off a little bit, but they've started to play some better footy coming towards finals. And I feel like they'll narrowly get the win above GWS, winning winning 12 goals 7, 79 to 11 goals 9, 75. Now the second qualifying final and the first of the first week and the last of the first week of the finals is Brisbane versus Port Adelaide. Now I feel like this will be a really close contest. Um, being at the Gabba, Brisbane will have a bit of an advantage, but I feel like Port will keep it really close till the end, and I feel like Brisbane will just win by one point, winning ten goals eight sixty eight to Port ten goals seven sixty seven. Now moving on to the semi finals. In the first semi-final, we have Collingwood versus Carlton. Now, a few weeks ago, Carlton played Collingwood, and they ended up beating them. Um, this is where Collingwood started to drop off form a little bit. but And also, coming off a qualifying final loss, they could be out in straight sets after finishing first. But I feel like Collingwood will be able to narrowly hold up against Carlton, also having Nick Dacos back to help them. Um, and I feel like they'll be now able to narrowly hold up, winning 12 goals 15-87 to Carlton, free, 13 goals 5-83. Now, moving on to the second semi-final, Port Adelaide versus St Kilda. Now, being at Adelaide Oval, Port Adelaide will have the slight advantage here with a home crowd. And, again, Port Adelaide coming off a qualifying final loss and could go out in straight sets. But I feel like they'll be able to hold up against St Kilda. Um, and they'll win 9-11, 65-7, 7 49 in a very low-scoring game. So now, moving on to the preliminary finals. In the first one we have is Melbourne versus Port Adelaide. Now, earlier in the year, Port Adelaide beat Melbourne by under a goal, but that was at Adelaide Oval. Now, it's at the MCG in a preliminary final. And Port, in the past few years, have made it to the preliminary final lots of times and still can't find a way to make it to the grand final. I feel like this could might happen again this time. As well as it being at the MCG, I feel like Melbourne will have the big advantage here. And they'll end up beating Port 10-13, 73 to Port 10-6, 66. And now, the second preliminary final, Brisbane versus Collingwood. Now, Brisbane versus Collingwood can be really close sometimes, and I feel like it will be, again, really close. Brisbane also, in the past few years, haven't been able to make it past the prelim to the grand final, but I feel like this time this will be different, and Collingwood, after being number one at the top of the ladder after the season, will now be out in the prelim, not even making it to the grand final, and I feel like Brisbane will win 15-9-99 to Collingwood 14-11-95. So now moving on to the grand final. Melbourne versus Brisbane. Brisbane finishing second at the, at the on the ladder at the end of the year and Melbourne finishing fourth. I feel like this will be a really close contest, um, but in the end, I feel like Brisbane will have the slight edge and they'll end up winning the grand final. I feel like Melbourne will get 15 goals 9, 99 to Brisbane 16 goals 10, 106 in, one, in, in a close grand final, maybe the first one since the 2018 grand final. And yeah, I think Brisbane will win the 2023 AFL Premiership. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed and like the video. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.